All right, before I get into the video, I want to advertise my new template called Scarlet Grid. I made it for OBS. So if you're a streamer on Twitch or YouTube, this is perfect for you. It's affordable. As you can tell, you can go from scene to scene with a very powerful transition. As you can tell, even the overlay face cam is animated and it looks really awesome. And the transition, I, I spent a lot of time on this. So yeah, it's an overall good design. Very elegant. I love it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, also in my store down below, I have my Apex Legends thumbnail templates as you guys can, as you guys already know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below and thank you hey what is going on guys zeo crisis here welcome back to the channel so i hope you guys are having a fantastic night and a fantastic day i always say that i will forever say that man because you guys are supporters you guys are just amazing man supporting the channel showing that support so I want to wish you a happy morning, fantastic morning, fantastic night, fantastic day, or fantastic whatever time it is. You know, you know, I always say that. So yeah, guys, today we're doing the next tier list again. So I'm going to be doing the top SMGs, like from S to D. But obviously, there's not going to be any SMG that's going to be D, because obviously they're all pretty good weapons. Honestly, they're, they're decent weapons. But hopefully this, this video doesn't end up being too long like before, because last time the Legends tier list was just almost an hour. But that was like a lot of characters, like 15 characters. This is just like four weapons. And if I did every single weapon, it would probably take a very long time. And I feel like I could, I can talk enough to kind of make a long lengthy video. Not because I want to draw the video out, because I just always have a lot to say about this. I enjoy just talking about video games and the you know, guns and the way how they operate, the damage and all. I just love just talking about these things and I really enjoy it. And sometimes I do worry if you guys do like videos like this or not. But watching the, the results of the last tier list, it did pretty well and it did pretty well like algorithm wise and also on the channel so i'm i'm pretty happy about that so i said i could just do one more again and kind of talk about it so yeah we have a list for pretty much the best smg in the game and right off the bat we already know the, the what's the what's the gun the prowler it's like a power weapon so we're gonna talk about that last we already know that's like s tier without even saying anything that's like s tier but we're gonna start off with the alternator the alternator Honestly, the Alternator is a, actually a pretty good gun. It's a perfect starting weapon, but in the hands of like a really good player, it can you can really do some serious damage with it. But it's a good starter weapon. It's really noob friendly. The shots don't fire so like too quickly, and you can adjust your aim, like micro adjust your aim, and just hit your shots. And even if they do miss a few shots, it's easy to handle, and that's what makes the Alternator so much so much fun to use. It's very easy easy to handle for like most noobs or beginner players. But in a pro, in a pro, professional hands or like above average player you can really shell out some damage man this thing can be this thing actually has some decent damage if you can hit every single shot and that's the thing about apex man sometimes people don't realize like how much your shots matter how much you need to hit your shots because sometimes the guns fire so quickly you don't realize how many shots you're missing in between because if you even have a weapon that has like 10 shots in the clip and you can hit every shot you'd be surprised at how much damage you did with that 10 shot and most of the times we have way more than 10 shots if you get what i'm saying the, the game really is is really reliant on like how much shots you can hit and the alternator is forgiven because like i said it's noob friendly it's a very noob friendly weapon for most beginner players and i'm telling you if you're a good player you have a vault and let's say a bot or like a very average player has like a has like a vault and you as a good player has like an alternator and you have really good aim you'll beat that player you beat that player unless he's super close to you he'll more likely beat you with the vault if he's decent or really bad you'll beat him but my point is if you're a good player you can really make use of the alternator because it's it slaps it's a pretty good weapon but it's very weak compared to the rest of the weapons and the, the, i think the alternator hits like 12 like above the chest and like 11 at the feet if i'm correct i'm not too sure if i recall i think, I think below i think it's 12 below the chest and for the chest is like 15 and the head is like 23 and i remember using the weapon in the shooting range it's around that it's like 20 23 to the head 15 to the body and it's 23 yeah pretty much that that's how it is but the alternate like i said it's a good weapon you have to really maximize your shots if you want to make good use of that weapon so yeah the alternator is pretty good i'm gonna put the alternator pretty much i feel like it belongs like in the c tier i'm gonna say c i'm gonna say c it's a good starter weapon but it's not that good once you start to venture out past the starting of the game you need a, a pretty good weapon like the vault or something a lot stronger but it's a fun weapon i respect the alternator it's super fun it's small it's compact 
but it's super weak man it's not strong enough but if you if even if you have got to your aim and you're up against someone that's just as good as you and he has a vault he's he will beat you but if you're up against a bot like i said and he has a better weapon than you you have the author and you you obviously have the better aim you will beat them it's it's a really solid weapon i love this weapon but unfortunately i love it but i cannot be too biased and like you know put it up top i'm not i'm not gonna do it so i'm, I'm gonna put it at c in my opinion at c and i'm t i'm ranking these weapons based on like just the vanilla version of them they're not kitted out you just pick it up no attachments nothing at all just use it straight up that's how i'm ranking them so yeah i'm gonna put it at c let me know down below where you'd put the awesome interval for me i'm gonna put it at c all right, so the next web, so the next weapon is the R99, and I know exactly where I'm gonna rank this. But before I rank it, I'm gonna talk about the gun for a little bit. So yeah, the R99, and this gun is definitely a high tier weapon. It, it is a, a skillful weapon. It's very unforgiving, extremely unforgiving. High reward, super high risk because this clip size is small, and not even because it's small, it fires so quickly. The fire rate is insane. But if you can manage to hit every single shot, and I say every shot not just miss a few like every shot you can knock people even from a distance if you're good if you really know how to control that that recall pattern and I'm, I'm not saying I can do it every time with the money I cannot and most people cannot but if you can hit 80% of your shots with this gun you can shred people it's an extremely powerful that's, that's a, a really high tier weapon it, it does so much damage it shreds you you just need a second that's a one opening and just a second to just shoot someone and shred them because like i always say in apex apex to win gunfights in apex it's about shelling out more damage towards the enemy than the enemy is giving to you you have to give them a lot more damage than they're giving to you and obviously right it, it's simple but i watch a lot of people play sometimes even myself i make the same mistake you don't have to commit to a gunfight for too long if you have a one second opening where you see that guy and you shoot at them with the r99 you, you light them up you can just dip and get away and do not get hit by them and somehow maneuver around and find back that target and take them out because most of the times when you hit them first and their shields are broken they're like oh crap i need to run away i haven't and they're panicking because they're, they're saying i haven't hit that guy yet and he just shredded my shields and hit me for flesh a couple of times they're gonna run and at that point they're in the panic mode so that's when you kind of maneuver back around find back the target and take them out sometimes you don't you do not have to completely commit to the fight when they see you and you see them and you shoot right away and then you're shooting and then you reload in front of them especially if you have cover beside you or you know you can get away try your best to shoot then get away or in my opinion because i have a high ping i tend to always try to peek always like play a peekaboo game with them i i i, I peek up shoot go back down peek up go back down try your best to kind of practice that that type of maneuver and it will help you get better at the game i'm not a pro i'm definitely not i just learned I, i've just pretty much played with a high ping for most of my life and i know how to get around a high ping and the stuff you gotta do especially in fps games man like a high a ping ping really matters in pretty much any game but a game like apex it matters a hundred percent so you have to do every single thing you need to do to really maximize that so i could even make a separate video of some tips and tricks i could tell you guys if you if you have like a high ping how you can get better at apex with a high ping because most people who tell you tips and tricks they have a low ping and most people who are watching do not have a, a low ping what they have they have like a high ping below average it's pretty hard apex is a, is a different ball game if you know how to like get around it yeah i kind of i kind of completely went off topic with the weapon but the r99 it's it's a good weapon it's a skillful weapon if you can hit your shots you can definitely definitely shred your opponents man it's a great weapon but it's so erratic and so hard to control most people don't like it and i was one of those pe one of those persons when i started playing apex i didn't like it. i'm like this gun just fire so quickly but you know what the problem was i wasn't skilled enough at the game to manage the weapon and now i have enough skills to really manage it and appreciate the gun for what it is but in the past i was like this gun is just crazy this gun is stupid i, I just hated it but i know i know deep down i just couldn't manage it but i remember i gave the gun a chance over time and it's so funny near the end of the season i think it's the end of the season before i don't remember what season it was but before this gun ended up being the r99 ended up being the power weapon i was just getting used to it i started to really like it and then and the moment i started to like it they vaulted it and it, bec it became like the power weapon and i started to really like it and i got it back now so i'm really happy with it man it's, it's a strong weapon if you do not like the r99 i promise you take take your time pick it up practice with it and you will love it but the, the one the number one tip i can give you when you're using the r99 to get better better at it because most of the times 
we're used to the kind of spraying and praying, right? We have a, we have like a RS301 or an alternator or like a, a vault, you know, as we aim, we just fire right away and just pray some shots hit. The R99 is so erratic. If you pull it out and it starts shooting immediately, you're going to miss your target most of the times. And this, this is a gun you have to hit most of your shots to really make it effective. So when you aim the R99, take one second just to adjust your aim. That's the micro adjust your aim and make sure that your crosshair is on the enemy. If you just take it on the shoot, it's just going to shoot all over the place and you're going miss, you know, to miss all, miss all your shots or, or even half of your shots. And missing half is not good enough with this gun. Missing like 30% of your shots, that can work, but half, it's not going to cut it. You have to really hit most of your shots or prepare to get, get into cover immediately. But it's a gun that if you mess up and you miss your shots, it will leave, your op leave you open, leave you open and mess up really good situations or where you could have gotten like a, a squad wipe. And that's happened to me so many times, but I learned to, re I learned to accept that's how this gun is. If I'm going to pick it up, I have to remember that I have to make sure I'm aiming properly. So yeah, for me, the R99, it's a S tier, 100%. And the way I was talking about it, it's obvious it's a S tier. It's a S tier weapon, in my opinion. It's a high skill, high high risk, high reward type of weapon. If you can hit your shots, man, this thing shreds. It doesn't matter if you have gray armor or some guy has purple. And I feel like it's so funny. In the start when I played Apex, I used to always say, oh my God, you know, he has purple. He has goals, not much I could have done. In certain situations, yes, there's really nothing you can do. But if you have surround environments and cover and a rock over here and like a platform over here, stuff that you can maneuver around and take cover and peek out from, it doesn't matter what they have, man. Because honestly, I always tell people this, when you have a body armor, it's pretty much just an additional 100% health. This is an additional, think, think about it that way, additional 100% health, not that's this crazy big armor that I can't get I can't break past it's not that big of a deal if you have great armor and that guy has like a purple and you have an R99 you can hit your shots and hit him more than how he's hitting you you can beat him man you can 100% beat him you just have to have the confidence and the mindset because most people is like oh my god I got great armor he has this gonna beat me just, just do your thing man have some confidence that's all you gotta do yeah I'm, I'm also kind of straying off the topic of the guns but guys i enjoy talking about these stuff man i just like to just talk to you guys so if you enjoy the commentary comment down below so all right we're gonna move on to the next weapon and it's gonna be the vault and the vault is almost it's, it's pretty much like an energy version of the r99 and why i say that it, it's it's not as erratic as the r99 but it has a low clip size just like the r99 so you have to maximize every single shot and this gun is extremely powerful i know that the vault does how much damage does the vault do the vault does like below the chest it does like 13 damage and the chest area does 16 and the head is 24 if i recall it should be around that and it's a really strong weapon the fire rate's solid it hits you it just shreds armor it shreds and when you think about the damage output on these weapons, yeah, some are slightly higher, some are slightly lower, and the R99, like I said, is actually lower than some of these weapons, but the fire rate is so powerful, and the clip size is so small, and it's the same thing with the vault, the clip size is super small, but it does shred, so you have to maximize those shots, guys. I always tell people, fight, just try your best to just practice your aim. Your aim is like the number one thing in this game, if you can master that, you can win a lot of gunfights, and most of the times we lose fights is because we're, we're missing our shots. We're missing our shots, man. That's that's just the main reason why we lose our gunfights. And of course, you get shot in the back, and third parties, and all that. That definitely that definitely counts. But you know, a straight up one v one fight, and then we we all had that moment where we had like purple armor, and some guy had like blue or gray, and we lost to that guy, and we feel like complete this crap. And what why did that happen? It happened because. We never maximize our shots and they maximize theirs and they hit us more than how we hit them. So we have to practice just having a really good aim. So yeah, the vault is super good, super strong, a really extremely powerful weapon. And it takes us just as much skill in my opinion as the R99, but I feel like the R99 takes takes more skill than the vault. 100% takes more skill because it fires so quickly in the vault, it's slower, but it's more powerful, but it has a really low clip size. And like I said before guys, I'm I'm ranking these based on their under vanilla stats. No attachments, nothing. Just the just the bare bare bones gun. That's what I'm talking about. So so the vault, in my opinion, hmm, does it shred fast enough? I'm, I'm still, I want to rank these properly. I don't want to have any regrets when I rank these. I kind of, I want to put it at S and I also kind of want to put it at A. 
I can't, I really want to, I really want to do that. I really want to do that, man. When I, when I think about like how fast these guns shred, especially the R99, it's a S tier, man. It's, it's definitely a S tier weapon. I'm going to put it at S tier, put it at S tier. And for me, it barely reached the S tier. I almost put it in the A tier and A tier is still pretty good. Do not, don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I feel like, hmm, it's tough, man. It's such a tough, tough choice. It's slow. It's slower than the R99, but it, it hits like it hits like a it's like a truck, man. It's really a strong weapon. It hits like really hard. Hmm. I'm gonna leave it at S tier. Leave it at S tier. It's gonna be S tier 100%. 100 percent i'll leave it at s there i'm gonna leave it there and the prowler i wish i remember the stats for the prowler before it was like a power weapon but right now the prowler is super strong it is ridiculously strong that's extremely strong probably in the future i'll make like a, a next video like this with smgs again when they update them because you know respawn always up the updates the damage and kind of changes up changes up everything on the game but so far the prowler is an s tier right now just hands down it's an s tier because it's already a power weapon I remember it when it was a base weapon, it was a really good weapon up close. The burst fire on that gun was extremely strong, man. You'd break armors in just like two bursts sometimes, even against purple armor and gold. And like gray, it stood no chance. You just melt people. It's super good. And right now, the burst version of this weapon as a power weapon, it does like 75 to 80% damage in the chest sometimes. Like 75, like most of the times, 80 sometimes even more that's on the burst and on the rapid it's so strong i don't even remember the stats exactly but it's super just ridiculously powerful right now it's it's op it's really 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 good really good so we got three guns in s there and we got we got alternate in c, in c tier right now and i almost feel like i honestly feel like bringing down the vault to a tier but it feels like it's such a such a bad drop and it really isn't Hmm. You know what, guys? I'm gonna make a change. I'm gonna make a change. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the vault in the A tier. I'm gonna put it in the A tier. It's super strong. It's definitely super, super strong. It can, it can melt you, but I feel like I feel like the R99 melts you faster, despite that it has like a lower damage output. Because the R99, let me see if I remember. It's the chest is like 11 damage. And the vault, I have it up here on the, on the screen, and the vault is 13, is like 16 damage to, to the chest. And I know that sounds insane. It sounds insane like Zeo, it's like so much so much of a tick damage up compared to like the R99. I know, but it's just the fire rate alone that makes up for it. The fire rate makes up for it. And because you, you, you just need a small opening to do so much damage with the R99 compared to the Vulca. The Vulca is like, duh, 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 duh. and the R99 is like, <laughs> I can't even make the sound effects. It's just super quick. It's just super, super quick. It just fires right away. Because I, I, cause I, I played the game so much, obviously. I can just tell the weapons that just do way more damage faster so just because a weapon does more damage than a, than a next weapon the fire rate of a next weapon that's that's lower in damage will still be able to knock you quicker if you're able to hit your shots and i'm and i'm definitely emphasizing that you hit your shots if you're gonna miss your shots yeah it might as well it might as well be s there or be lower but if you if you if you can hit your shots man the r99 is, is just ridiculous it's ridiculous i've lost a lot of fights with against that gun because the person just had a really good aim really crazy aim with that weapon so yeah i went on for a long time I went on for a long time talking about the, the weapons and, and that other stuff and with the game and all that so i hope you guys enjoyed the video that's pretty much it i might make a separate video again talking about the best ars i'm just winging these commentaries i don't write stuff down the only thing i kind of wrote down was the damage for some of these weapons that's the only thing i wrote down and i should have like some gameplay in the background if i got you guys probably saw that i might do that so yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm trying to give you guys some variety. I'm not going to always just post gameplay. And if I do have gameplay and I don't feel like it's good enough, I'm not going to post it either. I do like one of these videos or anything that comes to my mind. But I do have some really, really good ideas for a lot of a lot of like video, video, a lot of good video ideas. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Comment down below and I see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.